Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan. Our cameraman here is Henry and today we're going to show you the Arctic Wolf 285 DRL. Uh, this is a nice couples coach. Um, before we get started here I do want to point out this is an all fiberglass uh, unit with uh, aluminum construction and when I talk about aluminum construction I'm talking about every compartment door that you see window is all framed in with aluminum. Some manufacturers just do the perimeter of the exterior wall. So it is built right uh, to that regards. You do have your gel coated fiberglass front cap here in the front along with your blue uh, integrated LED lights as well. And you do have the turning point fifth wheel pin box. This is designed if you do have a short bed truck that you don't have to get the expensive slider hitch. Uh, basically what you do is remove some bolts, slide in a wedge, and you move your pivot point from the front of your pin box to the back. Um, so uh, to gain your uh, distance between the cab of your truck and the front cap of your fifth wheel. So it does have that pin box for you. We're going to slide in underneath back here. You do have your auto level. So basically when you unhook from your fifth wheel hitch and you pull the truck out, you hit one button, which is the auto level, and it will extend all your jacks and level the unit to where it is level. And then when you're done camping, you hit retract all, and it'll retract all your jacks, and it'll put your pin box back to the level it was when you pulled your truck out. It will remember that height. So very uh, neat to use. You have your docking light for your blue LED lights on the front cap right here. You have front storage that is connected to your pass-through storage. So you do have a steel tray right here at the front and then obviously that's where your battery box would be. You do have the adjustable landing gears. So rather than running it all the way down and up, you do have your quick release right here where you can slide your, your foot pad up out of the way. You do have a portable solar panel port right here so if you do some dry camping there is a portable solar panel that you can purchase to plug into there to maintain your batteries and then obviously you'd want to um, add additional batteries uh, more than one. You do have two 20 pound LP tanks one on each side so this would be the compartment on this side and then it connects to one on the other side. Your pass-through storage, this does go from side to side, so you have a lot of nice storage here underneath in the basement area. And you can see right there on the floor, it comes with your 50 amp detachable cord. And then your awning, this is a power awning, you do have an adjustment on each end, so you can adjust the pitch of your awning, so if it's raining, your water can run off of one side or the other. And you do have the blue uh, LED light underneath the awning there for you already. Moving back to the entry door, this does come with your stable step. This is a very nice step. We get a lot of good feedback on. It is rock solid. It sits on the ground versus hanging from the unit. Suspended. You do have an adjustment on each side as well. So you can adjust it to the contour of the ground so it sits level for you. And this is very easy to set up and take down. You basically open your entry door, you lift it up, it swings right up into the frame of the door and you'll have a handle right here that will latch on each side of the frame of your door and then you would close your door and flip your grab handle right here shut and you're ready to go. So it cleans it up, you don't have a hanging step that rocks the unit every time someone goes in and out. And while we have that up out of the way, I'm going to slide in down here and talk a little bit about your tire and rims. We do have the aluminum rims along with your radial tires. And it also has your tire pressure uh, monitor stems here. If I release this, you can see it turns to red. And when your tire pressure is good, it goes back to green. So it will visually give you um, that you can see by the eye if your tire pressure is low and it also has the number 80 on the tire pressure cap so you can see actually what the tire pressure is in the uh, tire. 
I did also remove the center cap here so you can see it is an easy lube axle along with your self-adjusting brakes. This is also what they call a friction hinge door. As you can see, this is to withstand 20 mile an hour winds and you do not have the latches like they've had in the past. Okay, moving on to the slide out area. This is where your outside entertainment is. Uh, you do have blue LED lighted speakers, uh, one on each side of your TV mounting bracket. This is the same as the one on the inside. So if you'd like to take the TV from the inside, you can bring it out here, slide it in. You got your connections down below. At the back of the unit, you do have uh, a LP quick connect. This ties in with your two LP bottles on the front. So if you do have an outdoor grill, you can see underneath here there is a quick connect that you can tap into and feed off your LP bottles on the front. You do have the 4 by 4 inch tube bumper here on the back. You can remove the end cap. This is where you would store your sewer hose in. You have the spare tire mounted for you already on the bumper. And then you'll notice up underneath the clearance lights is an additional black bracket. That is for a backup camera. So if you'd like to add a backup camera, it is prepped and ready for that. On the driver's side, this is where your 50 amp connection is. Um, like I mentioned, it does come with a detachable cord, so you don't have a cord that you're trying to pull out of the unit and push back in. So it's a separate cord. You have your outside shower right here beside that, and it does have your hot and cold water. Now we'll move up in front of the slide out area. This is your hookup, and hookup center and your dump station up here. Um, your water heater is a six gallon gas electric DSI water heater. DSI standing for direct spark ignition. You do have, you can um, heat up to 10 gallons of water with gas or electric and 16 gallons of water with a combination of both. If you look in the lower left hand corner right here you'll see an on and off switch that's the electric side of it and then I'll show you the gas switch on the inside uh, when we get there always remember to have water in the water heater before you turn the electric side on so you don't burn up the heating element you have your cable satellite hookups right here you have your fresh water fill fresh water fill is where you'd fill your uh, fresh water holding tank if you're dry camping then you would turn on the water pump switch on the inside and that would all be 12 volt um, power there. City water connection is where you connect your water hose if you're uh, camping at a campground. And then your black tank flush would be after you dump your black tank, which is your toilet. Connect a water hose to this. There's a sprayer on the back side of the tank that would rinse that tank out for you. Down below is your dump station. You do have your levels, or <laughs> your levels, your pull handles right out here where you can reach them for your gray and black water uh, holding tanks and that all dumps out of this one port. And you do have the heated and enclosed um, holding tanks. Uh, so this would have your all weather package so it is designed to camp in cold weather. Here again is just your pass through storage uh, from side to side. And then you would have your second LP bottle right here in the front. I believe that concludes the outside of the 285 Arctic Wolf, and now we'll move to the inside. On the inside, you have your steps going up into your bathroom bedroom area. Have your kitchen on the driver's side slide out. Uh, you have an island. You have theater seating towards the back facing your entertainment center. You have a sofa. Uh, this is what they call a trifold sofa in the back. Uh, so it does give you additional sleeping if you need it. And then you have your dinette entertainment center and the slide out on the passenger side. We're going to start right inside your entry door. Uh, to As you come in, it would be to your left. This is a pantry for the kitchen area. You do have a lot of nice storage in here deep large shelves and right beside that would be your entertainment center this does come with your fireplace 
It also comes with your stereo. This is DVD, uh, AM, FM, and it also is Bluetooth compatible. And then you would obviously have your area where you'd hang your TV, and it does come with your bracket that goes on the back of the TV for you. And like I mentioned, that's compatible to the one on the outside. You do have your dinette and chairs right here. Uh, you do have storage underneath each uh, seat cushion. Some hidden storage right there. And then in the back is what I call the trifle sofa. This folds out. If you look at the pictures on our website, you can see what that looks like, but you can turn that into a bed if you'd like to take the grandkids or someone else along. You do have some nightstands on each side, as well as a receptacle and a USB port on each side. You have overhead cabinets with glass inserted uh, cabinet doors. They're at the top. These are all hardwood cabinet doors that you see throughout the unit. They're not the pressed wrapped wood. And then you have your theater seating. This does recline uh, on each side. You also have cup holders in the center as well as the outside. These are lighted cup holders. So you have a light switch right here that you can turn it on and off. You have a massage button and a heat button. In the kitchen, you do have your um, glass drop-in cooktop along with an oven. This also has LED lights around each burner. So as you can see, there's a light switch on the right-hand side that turns that on and off. And the purpose of the glass drop-in cooktop is this gives you more countertop space if you're not using your stovetop. And this is a three burner. And the glass cover is a bifold cover that folds back and also serves as a splash guard. In the overhead cabinet above that, it'd be your microwave. Have some more overhead storage there. And then this would come with your residential, <clears throat> excuse me, your residential refrigerator. So you do have the separate freezer compartment at the bottom and your refrigerator at the top. And this would be 110 and 12 volts. So if power does go out, it kicks over to your 12 volt power, which is run off of an inverter. A lot of nice storage there. At the front of the kitchen right here, again, is just storage, uh, mostly overhead storage. Very little in the base there. And then again, you have a receptacle and USB port. So they do have USB ports scattered throughout the unit, which is very convenient. Kitchen Island, you do have a bank of two drawers right here. The top having your petitions for your silverware. And again, having a sink cover that is flush mounted, giving you more countertop space if you're not using the sink. And this would be a stainless steel single bowl. Your kitchen faucet is a high-rise kitchen faucet that has your pull-out sprayer. And you also have a ceiling tray above that with some hanging lights and a ceiling fan. Everything would be ducted, so your air conditioner is ducted throughout the unit. Move up into the hallway to go to the bedroom and the bathroom. This is your monitor panel. This is where your interior, exterior light switches are, your awning slide out switches, and then, like I mentioned, if you dry camp, right here is your water pump switch on the left, and then your water heater gas side switch is to the right of that. Right here is your thermostat for the AC. That's a touch screen. That's what would operate your furnace and your air conditioner. And then you also have a monitor panel on the inside for your uh, self-leveling. Moving on up into the bathroom area, you do have a slide out that goes from the bathroom into the bedroom area. We'll get to that in a little bit, but first in the bathroom, you have your vanity. You have a medicine cabinet that actually opens and has storage in it, not just a mirror on the wall. 
you have your Create a Breeze fan in the ceiling, skylight above your stand up corner shower. You have your toilet right there, giving you a lot of leg room that you're looking for. And we're going to swing around here and talk about the slide out. This does have your, uh, like a linen closet right here for you on this end have a bank of four drawers and then a wardrobe at the other end that has a closet rod in it. In the bedroom you do have your queen bed. This is has the bed lift system so you'll notice on the at the head of the bed right there is an extend retract switch so you can raise and lower the bed uh, to put it in the reclining position to either watch TV or read a book. And then you also on each side have again a receptacle and a um, USB port. And then you also have pendulant lights at the head of the bed as well. Uh, just blue. You can turn this to blue or you can turn it to white or off. All right. At the foot of the bed, um, and this is one thing I also want to mention. You'll notice that the light switches throughout are lighted light switches, so you're not fumbling around in the dark trying to find them. And then that would be your slide out switch for the slide out up here in the bedroom. This also has is prepped and ready for a TV in the bedroom. So you have your connections in the ceiling and then the bracket on the wall. So it is ready to add that if you would like. I believe that covers everything on the inside, so I'll do one more brief walk through for you here again we are the outpost RV you can contact myself or Henry at 866 338 9845. Again, my name is Phelan, and thank you for watching.